Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Pamela Sean. So today, you all, it's a day that this this ceiling is finally getting taken down. I am so excited, you all. I hated this ceiling so bad. I don't know what made the previous owner put this on the ceiling, but it drove me crazy. I'm going to show you all what it used to look like before, before I actually turned it into my craft room. And that was this. I still hated it. I went ahead and started putting my stuff anyway, putting my stuff in anyway, and I still hated it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. And I noticed that immediately when we started to take the ceiling down, the um, wood flooring down, it started to feel more open, more airy. It was brighter. It just looked so much better. So I woke my husband up at like eight o'clock in the morning because the quotes that we kept getting were really high. They wanted to charge $2,500 for it. So I kept telling my husband, I was like, I think it's something that I can do myself. Just let me try it and see. But he kept thinking that I was going to mess it up and he would have to replace, like spend more money to replace it. So what I did was I took out a little corner and it came off so easily. I was like, no, I'm going to continue. So he ended up taking over and he went ahead and took it down. My husband hates when I drag him into my projects, but afterwards he loves it. He's taking pictures. He's taking credit for it. He's sending it to everybody. I caught him in my craft room recording, doing a whole video after I had set up just the little stuff that I had added in. So I'm very, very pleased with the way that this is turning out. We did have a lot of scraps and wood and everything to throw away. But our neighbor across the street was getting his roof done. So my husband went and asked the guys that was working on his roof if they can haul all of this wood off. And they did. We paid them and they did it. So I was happy about that to get it out the house because I was tired of looking at it. And to be honest, I really didn't know how we were going to get it out. Although my husband has his truck, they're kind of strict over here on the rules. We can't dump it in anybody in a big dumpsters or anything like that. So I really didn't know how we were going to get rid of. So what I'm just showing you all is what needed to be repaired. There's a lot of holes and stuff. So we paid someone to come out and come and do that. I did paint it myself, y'all. And let me just tell y'all, it was something that I would never do again. Like the walls are okay, but the ceiling had my neck hurting, had my back hurting, had my shoulders hurting. Like everything was hurting the next day. So that's something that I would never, ever, ever do it again. YouTube made it look so easy and it was not. So here we are the next day. I'm bringing everything back in because Cliff's office looked a hot mess. So I went ahead and I brought everything back in. I did tape off where everything was gonna go and I did make some changes even after the video. But um, this is what I wanted to show you all was how I taped everything off to measure the space so that I'll know what can go where and how much I can fit. Because there is a big laser engraver coming, um, I wanted to make sure that I had enough room for it, which is a whole nother situation in another video. I'm gonna have to show you all what I have to go through to get this laser engraver, but it's all good because it's gonna bring in some money, so I'm okay with it. But one thing that I do wanna say is that I always hear people talk about Ikea saying that it's cheap looking and all of this other stuff. Listen, do what works for you guys. Yes, there are some things up in there that I would never put in my home, but there are some things up in there that I highly recommend, especially for their closet system. And if you are having a craft room, I was about to order a table um, that I would actually be like a desk and I was going to have it made and to have it made, it was about $1,200 and I was okay with that. But then when I went back and I thought about it, it's a lot of crafting that's going to be taking place up in here. Why would I want to put a $1,200 table when I can go to Ikea and build it out for maybe $100 to $200? So listen, do what works for you. There are some good things that you could do with some of the stuff in Ikea. I've seen some really nice hacks, even as far as like putting the drapes on the wall, I mean on the um, windows and things like that. Do what works for you. Don't let anybody tell you what you should or should not put in your home. You know what you can afford. You know what your vision is. Just go ahead and go for it.
it's time now to go ahead and start building out the Billy bookcases. One thing about me, you all, is that once I start, it's hard for me to stop. I like to get things done. So I did purchase two Billy bookcases, one to go on each side of the dresser that's on the right hand side. Inside the Billy bookcases will be my actual machine. So I have three Cricut makers. I also have a Cameo 4 and I have a Cameo 4 Pro. The Pro will not be able to fit because it is a big machine. It's about 24 inches long. So I'm going to show you all in the next video probably what I purchased to hold my um, Cameo 4. Okay, so I just want to show you all what I did. I know some of you would be against it, but I'm not. I'm not upset about it at all. I put a hole here. I carved it with my jigsaw because the wall, the um, bookshelf was not going flat because I had to put the cords behind it. So I put a, I measured it and um, drew out a template and then I cut it so that um, it would fit. So before it would not go flushed, now it's flushed up against the wall. As you can see, there are gonna be hooks at the top up there to hold it from tilting over. I am gonna use those, it's recommended um, so that you know it won't tilt over. And then in some people cases, although Jeremiah won't be in here, if your kids are climbing on stuff, they won't get hurt. Some kids have been, you know, I'm not even gonna say that word cause I don't like it, but some kids have passed away from climbing on things and it tilted over and fell on top of them so now that i have this done i'm going to go ahead and do the other one i thought i would be able well i don't even know how i thought that because the um other shelf has to go against the wall too and there's a plug behind it so i'm just gonna have to do it all over again and the only thing that i did was measured it and um drew a template and then traced it onto the cardboard with the knife. I carved around it with the knife so that the print could be in the back of the cardboard. I know there's some people out there who do this for a living and they probably are like, what the hell did she do? But I'm okay with this, okay? Because it's gonna be covered up. There's also doors, so I'm not mad about this at all whatsoever. I started to put the doors on the Billy bookcases, but it was doing a lot of wobbling. So I wanted to go ahead and secure the top of it first. 
So I do want to show you all what I use to secure it. I use these. Um, this does not come in the kit, but I think that you should use it because if you're putting anything that's going to be heavy in the inside, it will just give you extra security. And here I am on my lunch break, y'all. I was so hungry. So this is how far we have gotten. Um, I think I'm going to cover those. I'm going to make a door for it because I don't want that showing. Um, and then the printers will go over here. The printers will go over here. And when I get ready to use my Cricut, actually, maybe one printer there and one printer there. And then when I get ready to use the Cricuts, they will go up here. So we'll see how that will go. And then I have put on one door. I have to put on the other ones. And so all the crickets are there. I'm gonna um, put in a little small heat presses that I have in the, at the bottom down there also. And then we have the drawers here. The desk is gonna be right here in the middle. And so you guys have probably seen that I have this kind of measured out or whatever with tape. And that's because I'm getting a um, laser cutter and engraver. And it's that big. It's a big one. So that's the reason why I have that there. For many of you that know, I own my own business decorating events. So I'm going to add laser cutting and engraving. Because I'm not always busy. I'm not always booked. That way I can continue to still make money doing other things. So that is what this room is for. And it's coming together nicely. I have a rug that's going to go in here also. And I still have to get the light fixture and put the cover over that. So, this is where we are. Looks good so far. Alright, you guys. So, that is it for this video. Tune back in next time. Because hopefully by then, I'll have the light fixture to hang and everything else. But that is it for my craft room so far. I'll keep you guys posted on everything. Till next time.